All right. What is up, Wanderers? We are in beautiful Clarksville, Tennessee. And I think it's gonna rain or storm coming up. So this might not be a super long stream. And I think my gimbal's running out of batteries and all kinds of situations. It's a pretty church, isn't it? Wow, it's really nice. But I just got down here tonight for some work. Hey, George. Hello, how are you? Isn't that pretty? I always love the red doors on Episcopal churches. And let's see here, what's going on with the gimbal? Huh, I think I was just turned to the right. Okay, all good. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a pretty big thunderstorm, so that means uh, I'm not gonna be doing a rain walk today. Hey, Ron, what's up, my friend? Let's see here. Gimbal, gimbal, what are you doing? Here we go. I think that's better. A little better. What's up, man? I, I, I'm not from here, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Everybody, they say what's up. <laughs> He was looking for a shoe store. I'm not the guy to ask. <laughs> Do you know where a shoe store is inside another store? Nope. It sounds nice though. I wish you luck in finding the shoe store inside of another store. Sounds lovely. All right, so We'll record as long as we can, and we'll keep going. I think it'll be fun. Uh, the gimbal will probably die. I didn't realize how low it was on charge. And when it does die, I'm gonna have to go handheld. And that's not gonna be incredibly high quality, but we'll do it anyway. This is the downtown commons. This is a fairly new park, I think, in downtown Clarksville, Tennessee. But you can see they've got kind of a whole stage set up here and a big community green here. Off this way is Austin P University. You can see some of the buildings off there in the distance. But we're here to check out the downtown. So let's do that. I like this uh, Commons Park that they built. Hey, hey, Audi, what's up, my friend? Hope you are well. Yeah, I'm down here for work, and I ended up having... That's yeah, really nice. I ended up having a, about an hour here. So we'll see how much of a stream we get before the, before the battery dies in the gimbal. And then I'll try and go handheld. Oh, look at that. Federal building. It's called the Mail Room. I think they've turned it into a restaurant. How cool is that? I love it. And that is the oldest bank in Tennessee over there, established 1854. Surely that's not the building it was in now. The building's new. The bank is old. Oh, this is cool. Look at this town. That's really nice. Look at this. I really like it. What a cool downtown. Let's go check it out.
Nice Christmas decorations are up. Oh yeah, look at the patio in this restaurant. That's really nice. And there's a river down here too, somewhere. I've never been in downtown Clarksville, Tennessee. So this is the first for me. I've been to Clarksville many times, but I've never come all the way downtown for whatever reason. Look at this fountain. How cool is that? Just got all kinds of kids playing. You don't see that every day in a bronze fountain. Kid with a boom box. Oh, Martin says was the last train to Clarksville. Last train to Clarksville and I'll meet you at the station. Uh, maybe? I don't know. There's probably a lot of Clarksvilles. I don't know. Looks like maybe on a Monday night downtown isn't very hopping. That makes sense. I bet it's a weekend kind of place. Uh, Clarksville is also the home of uh, Fort Campbell, which is one of the largest army bases in the country. Ooh, I love these little trucks. I love it. I've thought about trading in the beast on one of those. Don't have the guts to pull the trigger. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. It's called, uh, you type it, it's, it's simple. It's called Bit of a Wander. B-I-T-O-F, a wander, yeah. I just do virtual walks. Yeah, that's me. Yep, cool. Y'all have a good one. Good luck finding the shoe store. That's so funny. They drove all the way back around to find me. That's neat. I hope they find their shoe store. This place looks cool, look at this. Kind of a reclaimed warehouse building. Strawberry, Strawberry Alley. Like a, a bar in there. Oh, and it's a brewery too. Strawberry Alley Ale Works. There's the river down there. It's a river walk down there too, I think. Let's go this way, see what we can find. Oh, an ice cream store. Look at that. Madeline. French bistro with French pastries. Neat. Is this the city hall? Yeah, so that's Clarksville City Hall. <laughs> Ron, that's hilarious. Maybe so. Uh, I guess let's head down this way and see if we can see like the, I saw a sign that there was a river walk this way. So I'm curious to check that out. Oh, look at this theater. Hold on, you guys, look at this. How amazing, look at that. Okay, we gotta look at this street. This whole street is amazing. Look at this. Wow. This looks like a drill sergeant, some kind of Homage, who is this? 
Frank Spencer Sutton, actor, veteran, patriot. Maybe that's the thumbnail right there. It's cool. Oh, I like this street. A lot of shops. I don't know what that clanging noise is up here. Can you hear that? Oh, wow. It's a wedding store. Interesting. I don't know what that noise was. It's interesting. Oh, there's a dude getting a major tattoo. I'd show you. I don't want to invade his privacy. It was like his whole leg. It's kind of cool. Oh, that sounded like a bus situation. All right, we'll go down this way. And then we'll look, go look for that river, that river walk. and brewery. Oh, that place is actually pretty packed in there. That's where everybody is at the pub. You can see it is oddly hot because there is a storm coming through. So it's going to be thunderstorms all the rest of the evening. Oh, here's the other truck that I really like. It's a Ford Maverick. It's a really tiny, cheap truck. So let's go hit the river walk. Oh, here's these dudes looking for shoes again. What's up, guys? Hope you guys find your shoe store. You know where it's at? It's right over here. Cool. You too, man. <laughs> they found it. We must have walked right past it. I didn't even see it. I guess that's what they were talking about, store within a store. starting to get dark out here and it is only 5 30 4 30 it's 4 30 local time so that's the storm coming in hey hey what's up joanne hey fairy elephant good to see you sorry for there not being any notice for this stream i didn't even know i was going to be doing this stream but had a little bit of time before the thunderstorm rolled through so I thought I'd give it a whirl. Hey, Joanne. Yeah, I'm not heading to NYC until January 16th. And then I'm gonna start streaming on the 17th. At some point this gimbal is gonna completely die. And so I apologize in advance for the camera spinning around, but then I'll straighten it out and just hold the, hold the phone. Hold the phone. 
Hey, Lila, what's up? Good to see you. Let's go down here, see if we can see the river walk. Uh, I said, did I say January? December 16th, December 16th. Thanks, fairy elephant. Yeah, December 16th, so basically 10 days-ish. Thanks for catching me on that. Yeah, December 16th is New York City. Wow. You can see the river out there. So I think that's the Red River. Not the same one as Texas, I don't think. But it runs all the way through and cuts into Clarksville down there. It's a cool town. And it feels really weird out here with the storm coming in. So let me check the, the map on the radar here. Okay, looks like we're safe for the minute. It's still to the west of us. Ron, did you just say this is the start of the New York walk? That would be a long walk. <laughs> that would be crazy. I think there's a river walk down by the river down here, but I, I'm not gonna have the, the time or the battery life to get down there and get back up again. I think you take this walkway, we can come look at it over here. We can take it a little ways here. Leela, your dad's side of the family is from Clarksville, Tennessee. Oh, that's cool. How about that? That's neat. All right, let's go check this out. The problem with going downhill is that we have to come back uphill. It's a long drive today. It's about a four hour drive to get from Lexington to Clarksville. So a lot of car time today. <laughs> Ron, I hear you. There's a sign over here, so let's see if this is what the river walk sign was all about. It's a cool little park. The Upland Trail, phase two. Okay. Hey, Karina. Good to see you. All right, let's walk out over this bridge see what's over on the other side of this. It does feel weird tonight, so humid. You can definitely tell like a storm is coming. Karina, are you feeling better? The chat has asked, I hope so. Hey Rodney, good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is kind of neat. This is a well done bridge. It's like a repurposed railroad bridge that they've turned into a pedestrian bridge. There's the police department here. And maybe a park up across the way here? Let's check it out. 
easy access to the river. Oh, good. Karina is feeling better now. Good, 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 good. Seems like you can't go a day anymore without somebody you know being under the weather. So this is the Upland Trail. Interesting. At some point we have to turn around. Most likely this is going to be like a 45 minute walk tonight, everybody. It's kind of an unplanned walk, so. Oh, there we go. I told you the gimbal was dying. All right, sorry about that. All right. The gimbal has completely died. Oh, gimbal, what are you doing to us? So my apologies, we're gonna get shaky cam the rest of the way. Ooh, I think I just saw some lightning. Stupid gimbal. Probably stupid me, stupid me actually, for not charging stupid gimbal. Looks like the trail keeps going that way. We'll go this way. So many trails, I love it. Oh man. So Leela and Adriana had COVID and AK is sick too. Yeah. All right, Spur Line Trailhead. The Spur Line Park, let's check that out. It's headed back in the, in the direction we need to go. Sorry again about the shaky camera. Yeah, normally I charge up the gimbal pretty well in advance of a walk. <sighs> I'll even do a walk tonight. This is pretty though, I like this place. After this, back to the hotel and I've got some more work to do. But this is a nice break to stretch my legs after the long drive. I don't know if you guys follow my second channel, um, but I just got the coolest bag. It's a bright pink fanny pack with a confetti sprinkle pattern. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So that looks like the end of the Spur Trail. That is not much of a trail, but I like it. But I guess Spur, the Spur line. Spur means a short, a short section, right? Yeah. So kind of cool. I enjoyed it. I love little pocket parks like that. Because otherwise it's just all parking lots. Ah, uh, Joanne saw that bag. Yeah. He had never made one like that. The guy who made it, Brian. And so it's one of a kind. I was delighted that he was willing to go a little crazy for me. Yeah, it feels sticky out here. Ah, Martin said he did Google it. This is the Clarksville in the Last Train to Clarksville song. Who sings that, Martin? That's not the Oak Ridge Boys. Who sings that? Stop. You can't make me stop. I'm going to keep going. The 
monkeys, really. Oh, fairy elephant, yeah, the monkeys, okay. Take the last train to Clarksville and I'll meet you at the station. Do, 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 that's all I know. That's all you get. And because I'm a terrible singer, I don't have to worry about copyright issues. It would never recognize that song. Howdy, that would be cool. Um, I don't pretend that AK would want to slow his roll to hang out with me, but if I bumped into him, I think that would be really neat. I'd love to run into On as well. Maybe Tom from Walks in Wall Street. That would be cool. Seafot. Al. Walking Commuter. James and Carla. So many, so many good streamers. I love this time of night when the lights really glow. Honestly, I think this is when the iPhone is at its best. Let's scoot back a little bit. I think I'm gonna try and get this as a thumbnail. Oh, Bagels and Walks. Yeah, Sean. There's so many good channels in New York. Lots of choices. I definitely think everybody's going to want to watch me instead. <laughs> if it's anything like Las Vegas, we'll break some records for people tuning in. That was far and away our biggest stream ever. We had 150 people watching that one. And I don't know if I ever circled back and told you guys this, but about halfway through that stream, I thought I saw one of my YouTube idols on the street and I started hollering his name like, Gabriel, Gabriel. And he didn't turn around. So I was like, okay, I guess it wasn't him. Turns out it was him. <laughs> he just didn't hear me or did not want to be recognized at that moment in time. But it was a Gabriel Traveler, which is a really cool channel. So shout out to Gabriel Traveler. Kind of an OG travel channel. There's that cool restaurant in the old post office. Such a shame about this gimbal. My arm is getting tired now. So we'll probably make this just a, around a 30 minute stream instead, rather than a 45. But it was cool seeing you guys. And I was delighted to see downtown Clarksville. Honestly, I think it's really cool. There's a lot going on down here. It's not just a shoe, stop, shoe shop inside another store. There's a lot more to it. I did. Audi just called me out for forgetting about Urbanist. You know, Audi, do you think of him as a New York streamer? I think he's a lot more global than that. I think of him as more of a, I know, I know where he started, but I think it's 
I think of him as more of a global channel now. Really is a cool park. George says Ariel has set the standards too high. Yeah, good channel. You know, he pulls off being knowledgeable without being pretentious, which I've always admired about his style. I think there's a, a fine line between educating your audience and talking down to your audience. And I think he gets it right. vibe I'm going for is more hanging out with my audience. <laughs> I don't pretend to know more than you guys. I don't think I do. You guys are always dropping facts in the chat that I don't even know about, like that this was the Clarksville and the Monkees song. Oh, Ron, thank you for that. Always worth a shot. I mean, big time YouTubers, I understand when they are, I mean, just frankly too busy uh, to stop and kind of handle all those requests that they must get, but it's always worth a shot. Cause it's that, you know, what value do I offer in return? I always think about that. I'm in business. I'm in two businesses now, my, my day job and YouTube. I always think like if I'm going to ask for something from somebody, what am I offering in return? So there's got to be something. So maybe I'll buy bagels. <laughs> I got you a Yankee candle. Would you like to collaborate with me? <laughs> Oh God, I'll let you camp in my truck. <laughs> oh God. Oh Ron, that's too kind of you. All right, you guys, here's the beast. We haven't traded it in on a tiny truck yet. Um, so I think that's where I'm gonna have to end it. Let me flip this around and say goodbye my sweaty self here. Boom, there we go. Great to see you guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. It was so cool to hang out with you tonight and I hope you have a lovely evening and you know, the thunderstorm never really happened, did it? No. All right. So everybody, thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Bye you guys.